What is up, everyone? My name is Phil. The channel is Phil's Polls. And we're back with another card opening video. Today we have 2020 Tops Museum Collection. Punala! A brand new release comes out today. So I am rushing this video uh, to get it up for you guys. You're welcome. This is kind of a higher end product from Tops, obviously. Museum collection kind of based off of, uh, you know, like a like an old, you know, history museum or an art gallery. Uh, I think on the sell sheet they actually showed, you know, a photo of someone, you know, in an art gallery looking at, you know, three of the cards as if they were you know, paintings on, on a wall. So that kind of takes inspiration from that. Um, so yeah, leave a like, subscribe if you're excited for uh, these, I don't know, first look, product review videos, what have you, call it whatever you want, I don't really care. And uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a half case today, uh, six boxes, and then we'll do the other half case tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that video. Four cards, or four hits per box, uh, per master box, there's four little mini boxes inside which are guaranteed uh the things that it says right here on card autograph autograph relic quad relic or relic and i believe you get two autos per master box guaranteed so you'll have like two little mini boxes will be autos two of the mini boxes will be just be plain old relics uh pretty big checklist on this boxes run about 250 dollars to 60 uh per box so it's pretty expensive uh but for four hits in a box it's not as bad as some of the other stuff that's been out lately like uh sterling diamond icons yeah other stuff like that the kind of super super high end this is more definitely expensive don't get me wrong but kind of falls into the you know mid high end range i guess mid yeah mid high end anyways um each row on the box looking nice in the m's uni and we'll get uh, the other five boxes out of the way, and we'll get Kraken on our first one. Kraken. Seattle Kraken. Did you guys see that? The new hockey uh, hockey team for uh, Seattle, the expansion team. I said Kraken, and then I saw Seattle, so I didn't really think of it. But Your genius is showing. Where? Some people are pretty upset about their uh, their logo, but I actually saw someone redo it, and it looked pretty cool. They put, like, an anchor in the background. Or like kind of intertwined. So there you go. This is how you'd see it at a, uh, a hobby shop. I kind of miss, uh, you know, seeing these boxes kind of, you know, held up like this. Obviously nowadays with weighing packs and all that crap, you know, very few hobby shops actually keep the packs out, let alone have open boxes. Um, it's kind of a, a shame. You know, I used to love going into a shop as a kid and uh, getting a getting to open a you know a hobby pack or two or nowadays it seems like everything's by the box or the case and um, you know I, I wish there were options for that I mean you have your re uh, retail stuff but uh, sometimes it's nice to go into an actual card shop and get a few packs anyways uh, we'll get rid of this box now see you in nostalgia and uh, we'll crack into our first little mini box here of museum collection uh, we'll see how it looks what kind of luck we have obviously with these you know review videos it is one case. I, I say this all the time. It is just one case, so it's hard to be like, oh, wow, I got a really great card. This product's awesome. Or like, I didn't really get anything good. This sucks. You know, it's not really the way it goes. So there are base cards in this. Um, the product didn't really say how many, but it looks like there's four base cards in here. I'll actually slide this one to the front. So we have a Noah Syndergaard, which seems to have like a different border. Are those numbered at all? Nope. Just kind of more of a bronze border. Uh, Jose Ramirez, Devers, Freeman, and our first hit is a quad relic. Yeah. Nice little Mets quad relic to 75 to Grom, Alonzo, Conforto, and Syndergaard. Syndergaard has a bat for some reason. He does hit, but, you know, it's still kind of weird. Anyways, uh, cool little Mets quad. Relic to start out this uh, museum collection video. And that means we should still have two autos to go in our uh, in our box here. I figured uh, six boxes of this would be a nice, a nice length of a video instead of uh, 12 boxes. So we'll split it up into two videos. And if you like the product, check out uh, tomorrow's video because we'll have more museum collection. Um, our... Oh, we got a numbered base card this time. Donnie Baseball, 4 of 150. Uh, we got a Rizzo. 
Bryce Harper, Mike Trout, nice card, and let's see who our hit's going to be. Congratulations, you received a signature Swatches triple relic autograph of Justin Upton, Angels outfielder. Uh, that is a sticker, unfortunately, on the Upton to 199. So a sticker auto and not the angel you're looking for. But nevertheless, I like the look of the cards. Uh, anytime with these thick cards, you will have like little edge and corner issues. This one seems pretty clean. But um, yeah, nice looking cards. They do kind of take the, the design inspiration off of, like I said before, kind of museums or art galleries, everything kind of framed in. There's some really cool uh, like metal framed cards, like book cards, which are actually, instead of just being bound together by, you know, instead of the spine being like a little piece of paper, it's actually on hinges, which I thought was pretty neat. So hopefully we can uh, get lucky and pull something like that. All right, this is mini box number three. We've got a Yachty, a Tanaka, Bellinger, George Springer Bronze, and our third hit is Archival Autograph of Jeff McNeil. That's, uh, that one's actually on card, which is nice. So out of the first box, eh. <coughs> our first master box, I'm expecting just a regular old relic in, uh, in our last one here, but there are like bat barrels and some pretty cool stuff. Bat Barrel Autos, which are pretty neat looking. So we got a quad relic as our first relic, so I'm expecting, I don't know, just a relic. There's a uh, Robert rookie card, that's nice. As far as base cards go, that's about as, uh, as good as you could have hoped. Ooh, that's a canvas, which you get in your, uh, as part of your base cards. And there's a Bieber to 50, so some nice, uh, some nice base here for sure. Uh, Wade Boggs canvas. I want to check if it's numbered, but I'll expose the uh, the hit. So let's just do this. And I saw the name, Jordan Hicks patch two thirty five. So not bad. And uh, these little canvas sketch card things are are not numbered or anything, but still cool card. Wade Boggs looks kind of nice. Um, so. First box out of the way, um, I don't know. Let me know what you think about that box for 260 bucks. We got uh, two autos and um, a couple nice relics, you know, the Mets quad and the nice patch there of Jordan Hicks. No, like, incredible names out of the first box, but I expect, you know, something really nice. I think there's, like, a, the... Case hit. Couldn't think of what I was trying to say. The case hit is like um, should be something really nice. So I think I'll know if we have our case hit in this video, and if not, uh, we'll definitely have it in tomorrow. So that should be kind of cool. All right, box two. This looks like an auto to me, just based on the uh, thickness of the card. Tanaka, Bellinger again, Jose Ramirez again, uh, Soto to 150. Nice card. And let's actually just flip it over. And we'll see what we got. Goldschmidt. On card. I like these, these uh, the kind of horizontal cards in this. They look pretty nice. Um, nice photo of Goldschmidt. Nice on card auto to 25. So definitely happy, happier with that first little mini box there. I'll start to move this along a little bit quicker because we still have like all of this box and four more to go. So I've just been I've just been yapping without opening any cards. So let's get let's get to it. Uh, Bryce Harper, Trout again, another base card. Uh, Molina, Gavin Lux, bronze, base card, nice little hit. And our hit out of mini box two is a Robbie Alomar. Really nice patch on that, actually, to 15. So a nice uh, four-color patch there, Robbie Alomar. Mets Robbie Alomar. Not who I think of when I think of Robbie Alomar, but still. 
Um, nice card. So, I think we're just going to be looking at two relics in these last two mini boxes so we won't spend a ton of time. Albies, Tatis, Rizzo, Sunny Gray to 150, and a Miguel Sano patch to 25. Nice little patch card. I've been pretty impressed with like even just the relics, you know, because I feel like for you know 260 a box, the two relics could easily be um, just little napkin pieces that people wouldn't really complain much, but. These relics actually seem pretty nice. Um, let's see who our second relic is going to be. Devers, Freeman. Oh, that's cool. So we got one of those trout canvases. Are you guaranteed one of these per box, I'm guessing? He's pretty SpongeBob. Nice trout canvas. Um, Pujols. And our relic is... Ooh, a quad of uh, Shin Suchu. So these were, like, kind of napkins, as I was saying, how they're... Praising them for not being napkins, but these are some bloody napkins and a clean napkin. Bro, what are you talking about, man? All right, uh, so cool on the on the trout canvas card. I like that. Probably sells like for something stupid because of the trout. All right, box number three. Start to go through these a little bit quicker, just because I don't want this to be a you know 45 minute video, but. I'm also not going to rush it with these high-end products. Sometimes with these things, I don't know how long they're going to take to open, so I just kind of wing it. And um, in this case, this is taking me a little bit longer than I thought. Because each hit is kind of in its own little mini box. Tops is not afraid to uh, waste the packing material. This looks like a relic off the bat, unless it's an auto relic. Uh, Barry Larkin. Brendan McKay, that's a rookie. Matt Chapman. Uh, Garrett Colt, 50, excuse me, and our hit, oh nice, DJ LeMahieu, nice dual relic auto to 199, he's got uh, COVID, but I think he's coming back soon, or I think he doesn't have it anymore, and he's just working his way back, he's supposed to play, I think he was supposed to play uh, the series that got canceled in Philly. Obviously, they didn't play any games. Um, this looks like our other auto, I'm guessing, but I'll just roll with it. Judge, Posey, Altuve, Johnny Bench. So there's some uh, Hall of Famer base cards. I think that's like the... Oh, no, we had a Mattingly before, so... And our hit. Jim Rice, on card to 199. Nice looking card there. Like I said, I do just like the regular old horizontal... Autos with no relics, even though this is kind of this is kind of a relic-driven product. But I do like just the regular old autos. And wait, do we not have? Do we get three autos in this box? We'll see. Mariano, Reggie Jackson, canvas. Nice looking card. Tony Gwynn to 99. That's very cool. And no, it was just a weird. It was just very thin for a relic card. Um, Adalberto Mondesi for the Royals, 48 of 50. So I'm guessing you do get like a, one of these canvas uh, sketch cards in every every box. Or maybe we've just gotten fortunate in our first three, but I'm guessing that's the case. And uh, last mini box of box three, and we'll be halfway. Let's see, we got. I think we should have like at least like a quad or something out of this. Could be wrong. Or patch or something. Acuna, Bregman, and yeah, quad. Keston, Yelich, Kane, and Braun. Nice Brewers quad. Nice dark blue, a little bit lighter blue, and then two pieces of uh, tablecloth. All right, I'm gonna try to not open the autos first every single time. I think I was going. Well, let me see what feels natural here, and then I'll go the opposite. Because that's probably what I've been doing before. And I've hit the autos first in the last two boxes. Um, so I probably went like this. Uh, now I'm, like, thinking about it. All right, let's do that. Watch the autos will be first again. 
But who really cares? We're gonna see all the cards eventually, right? Just a little bit... A little bit of suspense if we got the better cards at the end. Alright, it's thick, so it could be a relic. Could be an auto relic. Ripkin. Vladdy. Max Scherzer. Nico Horner, rookie. Bronze, or whatever they call that. And, ooh, nice. Carlos Santana. Quad relic with a piece of patch there. Pinstripe, whatever. That's probably from the... No, it can't be from the pants. I don't have, like, blue pants. Um, yeah, anyways, nice card. Carlos Santana. So, hopefully this is another relic, and I did this right. And then I won't be able to remember how I did it on the next box. But I think the autos are on the left. When you open the box. Or it could just be completely random. Uh, another thick card, but that doesn't necessarily mean just a relic. Roger Clemens, Shane Bieber. Mookie Betts in a, like, very weird photoshopped helmet there. Does anybody notice how funny that looks? <laughs> <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head! <laughs> like the helmet should be looking like... The head and the helmet should be looking this way and he's looking like straight on. Very un... very odd looking card. Alright, uh... Yeah, so here's an auto. Gary L. Jr. Uh, sticker, dual, relic. To 2.99, and on an Ichiro, bronze. So we'll get those get those put away. <clears throat> yeah, not exactly the auto we're looking for, but this checklist is pretty big. They make a lot of this, that's why it's not $500 a box. It's only 260, 250. What a deal! What a great, great deal. I got these cases from Blowout Cards. Check them out if you haven't already. The uh, my exclusive dealer. Um, this looks. Eh, I'll guess that's the auto. This is a thick card, so maybe. Uh, Nico Horner, Ichiro, Ricky, and we have a dual relic of Ortiz and Mookie Betts. That's a nice card. Two really nice patches in there. Two of ten. Nice Red Sox hit. I just did like a group break, so I'm like... I keep thinking of like the card teams, you know. Um, Alright. What is that? Looks like I'm like stuck to it. Oh, weird. Ew, David! Uh, canvas card of Rizzo. So at this point I'm gonna say that we do get a canvas in every single Master Box. Uh, Willie Mays to 99. And our last auto box four. Nice one. That is a very nice card. Boba Shett, 20 of 50. Um, that's our best hit of this case so far, or this half case video, I should say. Um, very, very nice hit. I will set that one off to the side. Okay, so to be honest, I was pretty disappointed with our auto so far. And um, that's a good one, so. Kind of relax a little bit. I'd still like to get a Trout or a Robert. A Lubob, if you will. I saw that name for Luis Robert. I thought it was really funny. Lubob. I dig it. Okay, I'm just gonna like open all these. And then we'll get the... I, did, I don't understand like the, the overkill in the packaging. Like I get it makes it seem, you know, special and like a lot of stuff going on and little mini boxes, it's like, oh, you get, you know, it's like four boxes in one, but come on, it's just like, let's save the environment, let's save a, save a, save us both a lot of uh, space in our garbage cans, and uh, let's get rid of some of the plastic. I know my buddy uh, Justin will like that, he's very environmentally conscious, as we all should be. Uh, this feels like a very thick card. It is, but we'll just roll with it. Uh, Robbie Alomar, Buster Posey, Griffey sketch. That's cool. Just, uh, just chilling. And uh, Nolan Ryan, and we have a Charlie Blackman triple relic sticker auto. Um, that's the reason why I don't necessarily like the autos on the relics, because they're all stickers. 
It's unfortunate. But that Griffey card's cool. I doubt it's, like, gonna be worth a whole bunch, but I think it's just neat. Those Mariners uniforms, the old school ones, are sweet. All right. Mini box number two. Hoskins, Matsui, Clemente, Ricky, and... A Whit Merrifield patch to 10. Meaningful material. Does that say material? Meaningful material, yeah. Nice. Seems very, very meaningful. All right, this pack seems thicker, so I'm gonna guess. It's just the plain old relic. Uh, Babe Ruth, Strasburg, Kyle Lewis, George Brett, and Quad relic of JD Martinez to 99. And I had dangers. Okay. Lozardo, Springer, Ryan Sandberg, Keston Bronze, and our last auto of box five. Wilson Contreras to 99. Not a fan of his auto, but uh, he's going off this year. He's hit like two or three homers, I think already, which if you've been following baseball, which you're probably following baseball if you're watching a baseball card opening, uh, has gone off to a good start and then a little bit of a bumpy start with the Mariners, or I'm sorry, the Marlins, but they, uh, seems like they kind of got it under control from there, hopefully, so we'll see what happens with that. All right, last Master Box. Let's see if our case hit is going to be in here or if it's going to be on video two of the museum collection. We will find out. Back one. I'm hoping one of these packs just feels like oddly heavy because that means we probably got like a cool bat barrel or um, you know one of those book cards, one of those like metal frame book cards that I think would be neat. And to be honest, I don't really feel like there's any of those things in this box. Unless those metal frame book cards just look metal. And they're actually like plastic. All right, pack one, box six, Ozzy, McGuire, Babe Ruth, and Ramon Laureano. Uh, bat and jersey. Auto to 299. And let's see what is in pack number two. McCutcheon, Stanton, Yelich, Koufax to 150, and Kyle Hendricks to 299. So both our autos out of the way in that box. So I kind of screwed that up a little bit, but we'll see if there's a nice relic. Uh, Lindor, Big Hurt. Big Hurt Canvas, Another one. Golden Card, The Rocket, and a David Price Quad Relic to 75. David uh, not participating in the season this year, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, everybody's in a situ different situation and you gotta, you know, protect your family and do what's right for them. So, uh, Nolan Ryan, Ozzy Albies, Tatis, Sandberg, and ooh, that is a cool card, all right. Is that our case hit? It might be. That is really sick. Vlad Jr. Tatis dual patch one of one. I'm in love. I'm in love, and I don't care who knows it. I like that card a lot. What a way to end it! Uh, what an absolute beauty that is. So we got the out of our first six boxes of this case, we have a Tatis Vladdy one of one dual relic. And this really nice um, Bo Bichette, number 250, Rookie Auto. Two really nice hits. Um, stick around for uh, break two of this product tomorrow. Um, but hope you guys did enjoy it. Um, let me know what you think of Museum Collection down in the comments below. And then be sure to uh, like and subscribe for usual. Really appreciate it. It helps me out a lot. And I will catch you guys on the next video. See you.